Germany's next Chancellor Olaf Scholz has presented his seven ministerial picks for the new coalition government. The Social Democrats will take charge of several government offices, including labor and social affairs, the interior, defense and health. Scholz's pick to take on the health minister portfolio is physician Karl Lauterbach. Lauterbach, who became a firm fixture on German TV during the pandemic, takes on the job at a difficult time. Covid cases are surging, restrictions on unvaccinated people have been tightened and the possibility of mandatory vaccines is being considered. We have to fight this pandemic. The pandemic will last longer than many think, but we will manage it. Vaccination will play the central role, but not the only role. And in addition to that, we will strengthen the health system. An important aim must be to bring the case numbers down so far that we can recommend travel without endangering people. We will put emphasis on that. Great emphasis. Let's talk about the new German cabinet with Kate Brady, who is in Berlin for us. Good evening, Kate. So I got to ask you about Karl Lauterbach, a Harvard professor and a regular on TV talk shows who has emerged as one of the country's most trusted pandemic experts. Um, it looks like his appointment was a shoe in. Well, there was certainly still an element of surprise to him ultimately being appointed as a health minister today. The announcement was really hotly anticipated, more so than at any previous uh, new cabinet announcement. But it wasn't uh, so much of a huge surprise, as you say. A lot of there had been a lot of growing support, especially on social media, after his appearances on on talk shows as well. But there hadn't always been that much support for him within the Social Democrats. Many of his fellow uh, SPD colleagues uh, saying that a lot of his appearances were more about his own ego and he had also even been targeted by uh, certain members of the far right as well facing threats because of uh, some of the of some of his calls at times during the pandemic for prompt and especially tighter measures in Germany's handling of the pandemic so it was a surprise to a certain degree that he did ultimately get the job but it seems Olaf Scholz the the designated uh, chancellor the designated successor to Angela Merkel has certainly put his confidence in Karl Lauterbach and there wasn't all that much uh, discontent being voiced here in Germany today about Karl Lauterbach being appointed as the health minister. Of course, the hope now is that he will be able to put his expertise in epidemiology uh, to good use in this role. If there was any discontent today, it was more at the lack of diversity now that we're seeing very clearly in the new cabinet out of 16 uh, ministerial positions, uh, only two people, two ministers actually come from the former East and only one uh, minister, the agriculture culture minister Chem Özdemir is of migrant descent and so that really has uh, caused some uh, concerns here today especially in a in a cabinet that was supposed to be becoming more diverse and more uh, open uh, compared to previous cabinets. At the same time, they have managed to just about achieve gender equality. If you take Olaf Scholz out of the equation, there are now eight men and eight women in Olaf Scholz's new cabinet. Let me get back to Lauterbach. Um, he is an advocate of stronger COVID measures, right? But so was his predecessor, Jens Spahn. Do we know what's going to change under Lauterbach? Well, one of the big differences, even Jan Spahn, the outgoing health minister, said himself uh, just at the end of last week that when uh, the proposal to make vaccines against uh, COVID-19 uh, made to be mandatory, when that bill is put to the Bundestag, to the German parliament, Jan Spahn said that he's going to vote against it. Uh, this is something, actually, the, a vaccine mandate is something that Lauterbach is very much behind, and it will be on his watch uh, now this coming week that the, uh, the proposal will be put to the Bundestag and effectively in the and if it gets that far, will be, be put into place. And we're expecting if there is going to be a vaccine mandate here in Germany, that could be as soon as February, if not early March. First of all, for healthcare workers, that's the expectation at least for now. And then the second step, uh, what we're hearing is most likely uh, for all citizens here in Germany, all people living here in Germany. At the same time, of course, the situation is developing extremely quickly right now, as we're seeing um, across Europe. And so it's certainly not completely off the cards that we could see some more measures put in place in the coming weeks. But of course, that is something that's decided both at a federal and state level and not something that would just be decided by Mr. Lauterbach himself.